Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. In this video, we will use VM customization specification to create an answer file which can be used when you're cloning VM or when you're deploying VM from a template. So here, for example, we want to join this VM to the domain. But uh, we have many options we can specify. For this uh, example, we will choose this is a Windows VM and we want to generate new SID. So we have uh, about nine different options we can choose, we can specify when we uh, will deploy or customize existing VM. So here you can see we can use different name for the VM we need to if we need to specify product key uh, admin password for the VM and uh, whether we want to automatically log on as an administrator into that VM when the VM is gonna get started here we can specify time zone and uh, we can add a custom command but for this you will need to check the sysprep microsoft sysprep documentation how the settings are need to be entered for the networking you have an option to customize this you can put manually the networking options or use the default DHCP and whether you are using the manual options you have also the option to specify different DNS or WINS settings or even add second adapter to the VM second NIC second network card here oh not this one check the, the red box yeah so here we specify our domain and the username and password which have the active directory rights to join the VMs to a domain it doesn't have to be domain admin account okay let's click finish and uh, we are done now we have the VM in domain which we can later on Duplic duplicate if we need to for example have the same VM customization specification with different settings just for example the networking as we said or we can also duplicate uh, delete delete import or export um, so any of the page can be changed later on and the ASFA file is saved with, with those changes. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.